Verone, you know, I was kind of looking at some of what you've done this year. And you went from playing like, you know, 5% of the snaps on the team last year. Now you've been in 82.4% of the snaps this year. Huge increase. Um, what's the workload increase been like for you just being on this team? Uh, nothing's really changed. I've prepared the same. I've done pretty much everything the same. It's just now I'm in the games. Uh, I waited my turn kind of and now just, you know, getting better every week. Are you pleased with your progression? I mean, not just necessarily playing time, but with your development as a player over the last season? Over yes. The last year? Yes, sir. I think, I think I've gotten better in all phases, and I just think I still have a lot of room to go and definitely can get better. So I'm always willing to learn. I'm always willing to take knowledge in and just to get better. You know, uh, a guy even in, improves from the first game of the season to the, this game, you know, now that we're many games in the season. Yourself, what do you think you're better at now than you were that very first snap of the season? Uh, just probably just being comfortable back there. Um, this is my first time playing safety, mm -hmm. but I mean, I feel as games gone by, I've gotten more comfortable and more comfortable. And now you see, we got the thing rolling. I remember last year, I, I declared that you were going to be the breakout player and you just didn't quite get a chance to get in the game. I mean, you're just, no one got hurt. You know, you, you didn't quite get the opportunity. This, you got all the opportunity in the world. How's it different as a football player being a major contributor versus someone that just has been, you know, ready to go, but hasn't gotten in yet? You just got to, you know, you just got to stay confident. You got to make sure that you still know what to do just in case you do get thrown in there and just be able to go, be ready to go and just, you know, keep that confidence. Some other guys that are on this team, some young guys like Michael Wright, talk about him and, you know, what you've seen development wise in his short time here. I love Michael. I think he's a great player. I call him Kawhi Leonard. That's my nickname since he got here because he wears number two and he, he always straps. But uh, I think Michael's a great player. He's really smart, great feet, great technique. And I think Michael's a star. How about the depth on the defensive backfield to start with? Because, you know, there's a lot of guys that can play it on a lot of teams that, you know, uh, talk about, you know, the competition in, in practice because of all that. We, we all want to get each other better. We all know that we're going to compete regardless and just, you know, whoever gets in, gets in. But we all know what to do. We all prepare the same and we're, we're close. We're close off the field. So that helps a lot as well. When you take a step back as, as a football analyst like myself, you, you kind of think, wow, this defense is quite a bit better this year, just from our perspective. Do you agree? And if so, what do you think is better about it? Uh, I, w I would say we just we, we were bought in yeah. uh, from the time Coach Avalos got here. We all bought in and we've been playing together. That's the main thing. We play together. We talk together. We make sure we're all on the same page. So everything flows like water. You know, practices aren't open to media anymore, but talk about maybe some unsung heroes, some guys that you think do real well in, in practice that Duck fans are going to see in the future, but don't get in games right now. Well, that's a good one. Thank Whoa. You. <laughs> Offense, offensively, just, just different guys on the scout team, from, from Devin Williams to Tevin mm -hmm. Janis, Jack Becky, they help us out a lot, and they probably don't get a lot of credit just because on the scout team and everything, but they definitely help us out a lot. Some of the old linemen like uh, Sala, for example, mm -hmm. Stephen Jones. Um, and then defensively, there's guys like, you know, Drew Matthews is starting to play a little bit here. He's definitely somebody that's increasing. Uh, DJ James. Mm -hmm. uh, who else is there? J Jamal Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, so just, you know, different guys come stepping up. Boy, when Duck fans see this, they're going to get pretty excited looking at it even next year. But, you know, focusing on this year, you got to beat Arizona because you got to win each, each game at a time. What's going to take to beat the Wildcats on Saturday? We're going to have to play our best football. It's, it's, the, it's the biggest game because it's the next game. So we're going to have to play our best football as we do. Come out, fire. we got to start fast. That's the main thing, starting fast and finishing. From McKinley third, that's all i got right now. VM3, thanks for taking hey, the time. Thanks, man. It.